I mean, I remember, uh, I remember like one time we were like, we played, we were doing like these uh, like Brooklyn club dates in like the early 80s. Mm -hmm. And um, we ended up playing for like The Godfather. <laughs> we ended up playing for like a huge mafia wedding, you know? And uh, they, um, it was usually with this band uh, that was only like a five piece. Mm -hmm. And uh, and they were like, you know, they pretty much had their stuff together, but they had, they would sometimes add a singer. And this singer got the gig somehow. Mm -hmm. These Italian, we were like at Guarjulio's in, um, in uh, Coney Island, okay, China. Yeah, yeah. And so we walk in and there's this giant dais, like about a hundred, and on the end is the Godfather and everybody's coming up to him like kissing his hand. <laughs> and on that side of the table, there's a hundred nuns. <laughs> like this, the dais, on each side of the dais mm -hmm. is a giant table with 40, 50 nuns on each side. And I was like, what's with the nuns? And they said, you know, nobody shoots guns when there's nuns. Oh. And, um, and I said, this is like, so they had to get, um, uh, they needed like 20 pieces, like last minute. They had to get like, they wanted to get a giant band. Mm. And, but we didn't, nobody knew anybody, mm. you know? So they started calling, making calls, and everybody showed up, but they couldn't play. They were just holding instruments. So they just had to like look like they were playing. So like the guy had like an, like an alto sax, and it had a trombone mouthpiece in it. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, there was like a violin player, and there was like no hair on the bow, and you know, but they would just stand there, and there was this old conga player guy had to be like 90 years old. He's like right next to me. Yeah, yeah, of course. You know, and he had like this Ricky Ricardo kind of conga that was like the straight sides and he was like tapping it, you know, and, <laughs> and he had a tambourine and we got to the end of the gig and um, it was time for rock and roll and he started shaking the tambourine. He dies. <laughs> he had a heart attack. The old man, he's like, Shh. you know, I'm looking at him, he's like shaking the tambourine. Next thing I know, I hear like, boom. And I look over and he's like, Ugh you know, on the floor. And I was like, holy shit, you know? And I told the guy, I said, look, he's, and he says, don't stop playing. And, um, and, and as he says, you know, he's an old man, he was gonna go, you know? He's very sick. It was like, it was like his uncle or grandfather, some, you know, the, the, the singer that added in. I was like, this is crazy, no. He says, you know, cover him up, they can't see. It's very bad luck if somebody dies at the wedding, you know? And he says, throw your base case on top of him. I said, I'm not throwing my base case on top of him, you know? And I was like, I was like, oh my God, that's like crazy, you know? And so they, they, like, they dragged him behind like one of these things and they put some tablecloths on top of him and we played the whole last set with like the dead guy, you know, the dead conga player uh, there. And, you know, so that was like kind of memorable as like a weird, that was like kind of a weird, Gig, you know, the mob, the mob wedding.